Welcome back to our crew project, everyone. I'm here with Ant and Kevin the Two Cent, and as always, we have a great episode for you guys. What's on the dock? Today we're talking about a new ID that's coming. You're not gonna want. Possibly. Before we dive too deep into that, hey, it's the crew project here, and we're proud to announce a partnership with Illuminescence. We're all about supporting local businesses, and they are a great local business to support. My favorite scent so far is gonna have to be the Smoky Mountain Firewood. Mine's going to have to be France Lavender here. They currently have two sizes available. Smaller one is 8 ounces. The bigger one, 16 ounces. They also have these wax melts as well. We'll drop the link down below for you guys to check them out. Stay tuned for our own personal scent brought to you by Illuminescence. If you guys enjoy the content, please like, subscribe for more. Let's dive in, buddy. Yeah, so digital IDs, that was a new thing that uh, came, I guess, across for the U.S., as a potential future, mm -hmm. and some other countries have already implemented that, right? Right. So I, I this is something I saw uh, in a, in a recent news, news recent rep report. It was saying that the Biden administration mm -hmm. is pushing for the digital IDs to be expedited as an executive order to be signed before Biden leaves office. Leaves office, but from so, impeachment or just. Oh, well, yeah, or we trial. can go down to $27 million of uh, money. Yeah, we, but <laughs> yeah, if you guys, if you guys don't know, that's, that's, that's a whole shit show that has been revealed that apparently Biden, that he's, he's accepted quite uh, a handful of money uh, from foreign affairs over his prior oh. to his pre presidency. And it was from China. Specifically. Yeah, and other foreign adversaries yeah. that were just not mentioned, but China yeah. was one of them. But worth of twenty seven million dollars. Yeah. So if that's not impeachable shit, I don't know what is. But at this point, they're just trying to not even care about it. It was this is why you're not seeing it being covered so much because they're just trying to brush this under the rug and just uh, um, push forward with just have election. this guy and yeah push towards election and have this I guy mean, leave the office. with but the thing so we is, got a couple here's of weeks thing. left. And this whole um, expedition of the executive order for digital IDs to be pushed and signed before Biden leaves the office, right? When we say Biden administration, is it even Biden administration anymore? No. No. no he's pretty much handed it to I'm Kamala. Pretty, yeah. No, no. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been Biden for a while now. So for people that might be thinking, oh, Biden's doing that. No, bro. I... Honestly, the guy is not all that all that there. So who is really pulling the strings for these executive orders? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure it's probably in result of the whole social security number right. being leaked and uh, all the records. Mm -hmm. And so this is supposed to be the new rollout mm. for the digital ID for that next layer of security, but they couldn't protect it the first go around. So I don't really see how we think that this time is going to be much different. Yeah, but is this even security? Who, the, who is the security for? Yeah. Come on now. We know exactly what this spells out. Digital IDs. Yeah. This includes your... I mean, we, they already have your fingerprints when you go for uh, your passport and things like that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, now, with this digital ID shit, they want your retinas. They want, a, they want obviously, they're going to have fingerprint for this when they give it to you, and they want a retina scan as well. It's very reminiscent of the CCP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's... Remi very reminiscent of what the hell China is doing <clears throat> to their people. Yeah, it becomes a little too much. Like, I guess when you think about it, you know, somebody could who thinks it's like not that big of a deal uh -huh. from the outside could be like, OK, well, they already have this. They already have that. All they just want is your retina. But it's you start to stack when you start to look back and think like, OK, but why do they need this? Why do they need the fingerprint? Why do they need the retina scan? What makes us this? What was wrong with having a physical copy of something? That was yours. Now, it's nice to have digital of certain things as we've gone on right. with convenience. Uh -huh. But when you start to stack on the, well, it's just this. Well, it's just this. It's just this. Before, now you look at the big pictures like, they have everything but my stool sample. 
<laughs> they have everything else of me. Like, there's w when you start to come down to it, we start to funnel down where our privacy is right. on certain things. And it would be nice for not somebody in an agency to type my last name All right. and literally see where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I bought, how I bought it, when I bought it, why I bought it, what I used it for. I was yeah yeah basically yeah <laughs> so we start we start to get to that level and you know some people are, oh what do you have to hide hey if I want to buy you I put it in my bags I mean that's just what I want to do all right was that too much no did you clip that did you just clip that <laughs> <laughs> you know the little meme the little the guy with the double take with the eyes <laughs> excuse me I'm sorry what. But even, you what know, did you say? I, that was a joke, though. That was a joke. That was, <laughs> guys, that was a joke. But like at that level, it was a joke, you know. Just, <laughs> come on, guys. Seriously. Double dipping hard gripping, buddy. <laughs> but, you know, at that level, like, you know, there's privacy of things, right? No, and you really would like to have that. Um, private citizens in the United States. Private. Right. It's uh, supposed to be. Here's the thing. Um, they're already taking jabs at people. Uh, for negative comments and whatever you want to say on the social media and stuff, how m censorship has gotten really, really freaking out of control. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of this, they want all of this as well. It's like you said, it's, it's a, a domino effect of everything that they are putting on top of the, the next. whole security thing. Mm-hmm. And the whole security thing is their excuse. And I love when they start to um, explain it to the public as this one thing where it uh, leads to uh, security from foreign people. Yeah, foreign adversaries. Yeah, foreign you know. adversaries or whatever. Um, here's the thing. We don't need to worry about foreign when your own government is up in arms against you. Yeah. Yeah. When your own government is doing some nefarious shit against you. Love it. Love I it. mean, got to use it. Yeah, man. It's perfect. It it works, you know what I mean? It's just, bro. I mean, we have a prime example of this with what's going on with Australia, right? Australia enrolled this whole digital ID thing a few years back. I think it's 2021. 2021? Yeah. Yeah. So, so during COVID times, during COVID they, time, they, they cracked down hard. They, yeah, I mean, they took they advantage took that, of that. Yeah, they took a big advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Australia turned back into a jail, like it was back in the day. <laughs> That's so true. It they, was. They did have the COVID camps. They had, dude. It was crazy. That's true. That's Australia true. took the biggest opportunity. People were not. I had friends and New Zealand. Yeah, I had a friend who she lived in Australia. I don't know if she still does, but mm. she was like, I just can't go anywhere. I was yeah. like, What do you mean? She was like, We're just not allowed to leave. We just can't. We'll get in trouble. That's insane. When you can't leave your own home. That's oh, insane. Like, I get it. Like, on paper, again, this is this type of thing to where when you rebuttal against it, mm -hmm. it's so easy to make you, as someone who's pushing against it, sound like the bad guy. Yep. So very easily when you think about it, because it's like, you want everyone to get sick. No, I just, I would like to be able to enjoy the outside of right. my home and not the inner walls. And I love, uh, you know, the, the whole thing that people always say that that kind of doesn't make sense to me to put it in a nicer way you know is that the fact that when you say things about security or privacy or whatever people are just like oh what so what i don't have anything to hide so what dog is that the best excuse you can come up with the best thing you tell to those just, people I love the complacency from those type of people mm -hmm. because you know what? You remind me of the damn herd, bro. You know, the best thing you tell the people that are like, oh, I got nothing to hide. Leave your doors unlocked then. Yeah. Leave, leave your doors your, unlocked. Leave your doors unlocked all the time. And then if, that, if that's, you just, you just don't care for any privacy. You don't care for anything. And I remember when I was a kid, there was a time where our front doors were normally unlocked because it was just a different time. Now it's like, dude. It, it's it's engraved it. as soon as i hit the door like my old lady will be steps behind me mm -hmm. i get in the house i lock the door <laughs> She's like, I'm like you have the keys I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh and i forget and i have to go unlock because i've locked her out like it's just so in my mind to where it's just like 
I'm locking the door. You mm -hmm. know, it's privacy. It's protection. So for to put it into perspective, like how many different areas of um, just everyday access to things that th this will be implemented in? It's kind of how Australia is. So scroll scroll up a little bit on this on this page real quick. All your social medias, right? All your social media, um, they will be tracked. Like you know, it's already being tracked. But um, go go down, go down. There's more. This will give you a kind of an example. So Central Link is something that Australia has, and that social welfare, okay? Uh, Medicare. So the health system, taxation, child support, Victorian house register. Um, what is that? The health records for electronic, yeah, el electronic health records. So if you want to access any of that shit, um, disability insurance. Those are a few of the different healthcare, the uh, Department of Veterans Affairs, and uh, what's the other one? government jobs and then there's also more your postal service and just like right now they require your biometrics and everything over there as well so just go down go down more go down more yeah online banking um the, so these are some of the four major banks that they currently have that require you to have the digital id four major banks right there that's yeah uh state state government services I mean, dude, it's there's way too much. Go, keep going down, keep going down, dude. There's way too much. Your credit score, like they'll have anything that you need access to, almost transportation. Isn't this supposed to be voluntary? Uh, no, that's the thing. Wasn't it voluntary at a time? Like it was like when it first rolled out, it was like a voluntary thing. Well, that's the thing. If you don't have it, this is how they're gonna make it. This is how the Biden administration is set to implement it. If you don't have the digital ID, you will not be able to access, first and foremost, any of your health cares, uh, health care systems. So if you want to go to, a, to your, your primary care physician or whatever, and you want to request uh, access to their online um, services and medical service, you want to get a copy of your medical services, you know how you got to make an account and everything, and you, gotta, you can yeah. see it. You won't have access to that stuff. Uh, if you want to see a doctor, you won't have an ac you won't have access to that. They'll when you go and you want to make a payment and everything, they they will ask you um, when the, you know when you go you sign forms, you fill out forms and stuff, and then they ask you for your insurance and um, your driver's license or whatever form of ID. You know, that's got to be a digital ID now. If you don't have it, they will refuse you service. So is this digital ID going to also be like a physical thing? Yeah, it's supposed to be physical cards, but it's uh, they, like they can they can give you a physical card that you can have like a driver's license. Yeah, but it's also going to be in their system. They can pull it up. Well, you got to like scan your card or like you put your card in like a credit card reader or something like that. Yeah, it's or, like scan it's, your wrist. That's what I was wondering. God, if bro, it's going to be it's, something like it's going to be insane. The level of intrusiveness that they're going to have. To your everything in your life, dude. I can't. If they're putting something in your body, dude, I'm not doing it, dude. I'm. I'll go holistic. I'll start eating grass if I have to. <laughs> That's wild, you know. And and to tie in, tie in like just everything. It, another example of this, like the censorship and all this shit. How we were mentioning how how crazy it's getting and how out of control it's getting. Bro, I saw this recent news. I saw the C, the founder and CEO of the uh, social media um, chat system that it's called Telegram. Mm. He got arrested in France on, in sa on Saturday morning at an airport nearby, like France or, or nearby Paris or some shit like that, whatever, right? Uh, go over here. And so, yeah, uh, I wrote it down here. And this dude, his name is... Um, Pavel Durov, and uh, the French authorities arrested him, and they accused him uh, of, on, like, on what basis he was arrested yeah. was organized crime on Telegram, drug trafficking, fraud, cyberbullying, 
and promoting terrorism. All of this was on Telegram and allegedly, and they're arresting him based off of this because he has not done anything to prevent any of these stuff happening on Telegram. But get this. Some time ago, before his arrest, mm -hmm. he gave an interview with none other than Tucker Carlson. And you know what he told him? He told Tucker Carlson that the... U.S. intelligence agencies, plural, they try to recruit, they try to recruit the Telegram developers, engineers, to, to install backdoors in Telegram. And they refused. And then shortly after, you see this guy getting arrested in France. Coincidence? I think <laughs> not. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all tell me. Yep. It's just it's just a little a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? What do we do here on this show? We love connecting dots. Think for yourselves, man. It's just like censorship is getting crazy and people that don't <coughs> follow or abide by the cabal's rules and you know they shit like this happens. This guy is millionaire he's not a billionaire i'm not sure what this guy's net worth is to be honest but yeah they'll uh they'll accuse you of whatever and allegedly you know they, this i'm is, pretty this, sure this there's some nefarious activities that go on on telegram but like you can go on twitter and find someone get beheaded in a second dog easily all I'm like on twitter is... you can find people getting exploded blown up mm -hmm. murdered there's porn all over the site and but like yeah. twitter there's nothing. The like, guy told Tucker Carlson, he said that I, uh, what's his net, net, net worth? Oh, 15 bill. Yeah, oh, he getting out. He getting out. 15.5 bill. He getting so, out. Free my man. Free my man, Pavel. <laughs> Free my man, Pavel. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I didn't look at too deep into this, this guy himself as well. So I honestly just don't know if behind the scenes he actually is a nefarious person himself, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but just the fact that he gave an interview with Tucker Carlson and his goal, he said, what was with Telegram was to create a platform where people can chat freely without having to worry about anyone intruding in their privacy. Yeah, it's a fully encrypted, you know, and, communication um, systems. Back and forth, which is nice. Which you is know? nice. Super so, nice to be able to have something like that to where it's not mm -hmm. pried on. Because, I mean, we've seen time and time again that, like, you know, other companies, agencies, mm -hmm. things like that have gone above and beyond to pry past that when they have the capability to right. do so. And uh, just to, like, give you guys an example, um, this guy gets arrested for, you know... The alleged reasons but when you have literal proven child exploitation and all that shit going on on facebook and instagram and mark zuckerberg gets brought in front of congress in a hearing and he gets scolded that's all that happens to him yeah and he get, he goes right back to um his yachts and parties and everything but this guy gets arrested for having a platform that's based off of privacy and so that goes that just goes to show you are does 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 facebook have a backdoor that 100 <laughs> facebook facebook is so much of a sellout you know? that like whenever you do yeah there's there is a woman actually uh i don't know how long ago this was um, I had recently seen it, so I think it was from like this year or something. It was a, she was in Alabama. Yeah, she posted something on Facebook that she didn't like about the government. She was visited by allegedly by the FBI. She recorded the video and she was like, "Oh, this is allegedly the FBI." And they were like, "Oh, we did want to talk to you about some of the stuff you posted on social media." And she was like, "This is all over a Facebook comment." Right. And so that was a little crazy. But then you guys heard about the guy in I think it was UK 
oh. who got arrested and went to prison because he said something against how the government was acting. And this is, they have their ongoing uh, immigration situation like right. we do, where there there's many, many violent protests going on where people are flooding and people aren't agreeing with it. So people are posting on social media saying how they need to like revolt, they need to stand up, they need to you know push back against this. Yep. And he was arrested for abuse of the telecommunications network system. <laughs> And that is what a cop arrested him for in the UK. Yeah, that's insane. And then you got police officials in the UK threatening people outside of their own country that if you post something negative against them, against yeah, against them, you'll be extradited and be charged and be prosecuted in the UK for saying something bad. Um, that, it's crazy. Yeah, that's that's like you're throwing you're throwing around too much. Remember 1776. Have a good day. <laughs> No, not yeah. around here. And that you know, it's it even more like they have all those CCTV cam uh, cameras. CCTV cameras, yeah. People are cutting them things down left and right. There's a group of people in the UK. I forget what the name of the specific group is. Yeah. But yeah, they they chop them down. They chop down the whole pole and everything. Wow. And they leave them laid there. Damn. Yeah. Um. And so the downside is the taxpayers. Are paying to have it back up, but it's a statement that they're that they're they're putting because they have the cameras. I guess are nice. Mm. Um, it's kind of a double edged sword, right? It's like right. some people would like some privacy, but at the same time, now that the UK, I mean, they've been cutting down them polls for a hot minute now. Mm. But when now it's like you post something on Facebook and now the police show up at your door, hey, you're under arrest because you said not good things about us. Right. But you know, somebody in the conversation can talk to me. I'm bald. Right. I get no. I get no reparations for that. <laughs> I don't. I don't get no Rogaine foam. <laughs> no. Nobody orders me some months of keeps. You know what I'm saying? But I got to go to jail because I told the government to kiss ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I. You know, somebody put the Kevin in my <laughs> bald, bald. You know, I'm. I'm upset. I got to. I'm getting balding. I know it. <laughs> Are you sure you can't sue them for defamation, bro? No, I get nothing now. I get nothing. But, you know, they there are knocking on my door. It's defamation if it's not true. Oh, that's... <laughs> I get no respect anywhere. You see what I'm saying? I get no respect anywhere. But the government now... Sorry, but <laughs> The government now can now... You know what I'm saying? This is... I'm saying... And this, this is what we're saying could happen. I'm telling you. It's... Yeah. Domino effect, one thing after another. First, the censorships, and then the digital IDs. Before you know it, before you know it, we're looking like Winnie the Pooh. I get okay. I got what you meant by that. Now, I got what you meant by that. Now, now, yes. And so you can't forget the social credit score because it's gonna play effect too. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. I guess. What am I? It's not, it's not that. It's just the way you looked at me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when it's not true. I the Indian guy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get out of here. <laughs> but all no, right, like man. whenever you add all that stuff on top, fingerprint, yeah. retina scan, this, that, saliva, DNA, all of this. And, and then think we are just getting steps from like a a very very communist China. I mean, look look at Bro, Edward Snowden warned us, Julian Assange warned us, and apparently those guys are criminals. Apparently. Right. Yeah, when you push out so far, you're extradited to the point of where you're a federal criminal and you're painted red. Mm -hmm. You're painted red for everyone to see. But when you look into what they're doing, and you're just like, dang, I mean, that's kind of... It, it's true. It's, it's hard to trust and believe it when all you've heard is the opposite. But when you see the world you're living in, right, it starts to make sense, and you just have to be like, "This sucks," mm -hmm. but this is true. When um, and for those people who are like, "I don't care, I don't have anything to hide," blah blah. When um, when you say something to uh, let's just I mean, hypothetically speaking, right, mm -hmm. and you just say something bad to your cab driver, all of a sudden, and 
your your social credit score goes down and then the next time you want to get inside of a cab and they're not picking you up and you're sitting there on the side of the curb for six hours plus and you're wondering why this is happening to me remember those words well i don't have anything to hide so i don't really care remember those words because that's so that's true. what you are enabling now that's what you are enabling now remember that so here's the thing they don't understand like they're going to use it in ways that you haven't thought of mm -hmm. for everybody. And yeah. this is Everyone why. Everyone gets hit with this. Yes, it's I not agree. A, it's not a left to right thing. Yeah. Again, it's a top down thing. I, yeah. I, I completely agree. And this is why. Remember all the times that I mentioned the uh, complacency from people and how critical thinking has completely gone out the window? Yeah. Nobody's doing that anymore. Well, I, I shouldn't say nobody. But not enough. Not enough of that is being done now. Yeah. Not enough of think for yourself and do your due diligence of looking into this. Do some critical thinking. Is this good or is this bad for me? It, not not much of that is happening right now. Yeah. Or hasn't been happening for a while now. To More be, of that needs to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, to, to even like add to all of that, like it's, it's very much going to affect everybody. Yeah. And the problem is with the people who are so much like it's not that big of a deal, you guys are overreacting, mm -hmm. will hit them when they least expect it. Yeah. And by the time it hits you and you realize, I don't like that, you're going to have to come to that realization like, oh. And you know what's crazy? I was wrong. Yeah. That those type of people react the worst. Yeah. Those are the people that are going to be sitting in the middle of the street crying and yelling, like, what was that? You know that meme with the chick that, that when Trump won and she was just screaming? Oh, yeah. That's going to be the... <gasps> yeah, she was trying to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. That is going to be those people. And it's just kind of the way we're heading, you know? It's okay to have some level of privacy. It's okay to want to not have to have prying eyes. It's just might as well live in a glass house, right? right. You're going to see me on the toilet. You're going to see me in the shower, right? Uh, I don't know. That that's that gets to an extreme, but mm -hmm. in all reality, yeah, a social credit score is very much around the corner, and sure, we should be nice to one another. We should be, in in a perfect world. Yeah, you should not say horrible things to your cab driver because maybe they smell like curry. I don't know, but you should. You know what I'm saying? But we have a <laughs> great. <laughs> We we have a great so for the, the real cough. ones. You'll know what that was. <laughs> you'll know as soon as you heard that noise. You'll know what we're talking about. Don't forget the cough. <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> you want some water? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I can't remember what I was talking about now. <laughs> oh, I think it's a good place to being yeah. nice. Yeah, just it'd be great yeah. to be nice and everything. But we live in a country to where we can say whatever we want. And, you know, the repercussions sometimes are a left hook or a nine mil. But that's, you know, that, that's a later down the road. That's a later down the road. Yeah. So. Anyways. All right. So uh, with all that being said, we're going to cut it here. And uh, I think we made our point. If you guys, uh, if you guys are all for the digital ID or are not, let us know in the comment section. Let us know what you guys think about this. Um, and. Man, if you guys enjoyed the content that we shared here today, if uh, if it was informative, thought-provoking, and if it got you thinking, if it got you critical thinking, um, leave us a review, comment, follow us for more like this. Go over to our Spotify channel and follow us for a great commute listen if you can't watch the video on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.